Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, this is Diagnostic World giving you a short explanation on the differences between the Launch Easy Diag 2.0 and the Launch Easy Diag 2.0 Plus. Um, basically, in a nutshell, first and foremost, these two kits are both designed to work on uh, smartphone or tablet devices. So they will both work on Android devices and iPod, iPhone and iPad devices. So basically anything with an iOS operating system and anything with an Android operating system, they will both work. All right, so first and foremost, both kits will work on the engine module for OBD2 compliant vehicles. So in the UK, an OBD2 compliant vehicle is a petrol car from 2001 onwards and a diesel car from 2004 onwards. So if you have one of these vehicles, both of these kits will work on the engine module to read and reset fault codes and also reset the check engine warning light. It will allow you to do that on all cars. You're not limited to one car or anything like that. If you want to, to start diagnosing other systems within the vehicles, so say for example you had um, an airbag light on or an ABS warning light on the dashboard and you needed to diagnose those. If you were to go for the launch Easy Diag 2.0, what you would then have to do is go ahead and purchase extra software. Um, now you don't purchase soft software per vehicle, you, so you, you purchase it per manufacturer. So you could purchase the software within the app on the, uh, on the, on the device. Uh, you purchase the software for, say for example, you had a Mercedes. You could then use that software on a Mercedes E-Class, a Mercedes C-Class, a B-Class, an A-Class, etc. So it opens up the, the full range of Mercedes software for the full uh, range of Mercedes vehicles. Now, at the time of making this video, it costs about £26 or $39 to $40 per manufacturer. So it will all add up once you, if you had BMW, Mercedes, Alfa, Fiat, uh, Renault, anything like that. Every time you add a manufacturer, it'll cost you. So it is a good kit. However, if you were going to go for a kit like this, I would recommend going for the Easy Diag 2.0 Plus. Because this kit here does everything that this kit does, so it diagnoses engine modules on all vehicles, you don't have to pay any further subscriptions or anything like that. It will allow you to read and reset fault codes and warning lights within the check engine module, or the engine module as it's known. Okay, so say for example you purchased this kit and you had an ABS light or an airbag light on your BMW, let's say. Well, Look at the bottom of this here, it says includes two free vehicle manufacturers. So what you could do is, you could say, okay, I want to open up the complete uh, software for BMW cars to give me access to the airbag module, the ABS modules, and you could do that for free. So that, that would be used up as one of your manufacturers. Then say, for example, if you had a Mercedes car and you needed to diagnose a transmission fault or an airbag or, uh, or an ABS fault again, you could use the Mercedes as your second free manufacturer software to open up fully. Now, don't forget, even if you were to open up the uh, software for free on the BMW and the Mercedes with, with this kit, you'd still be able to diagnose the engine module on all other OBD2 compliant vehicles. That comes as standard for both kits, so um, it, it's quite important to remember that. Even if you have opened up the software for BMW and Mercedes, you could still go and check the engine fault code if you had a check engine light on, I don't know, a Peugeot or Citroen, something like that. So, in our view, the best kit to choose would be this one here, simply because you get two free manufacturers. Um, it is quite easy to use. Uh, we've got an iPhone 6 here. And although we haven't, we've got the app downloaded, but we haven't actually set anything up yet, so we will be doing that shortly. Uh, but this is this is the app which you can uh, use to register and connect and uh, get in and find, you know, further further faults within your vehicle. So don't go sort of basing any 
anything on what I'm doing here you probably can't see that too well there you go but these this just gives you an idea of the uh, the manufacturers that you can actually select first of all but anyway I mean the, the download the app the app itself is called easy diag it is free to download um, so download the app itself first and have a look at it see what you think uh, we think it's a great bit of kit it's great if you don't want to go for a, an actual diagnostic tool um, what you can do is you can say for example if you had an iPhone and you had already downloaded the software and you you were happy diagnosing and then you were up, you upgraded your phone um, you could still continue to use it on your new phone you would just download the app again put in your username and password uh, and then it would continue giving you the uh, the same access as you previously had. Uh, there you go. I hope that was a little bit helpful for you. It just explains the basic differences between the 2.0 and the 2.0 plus. Either way, they're both great kits, but our recommendation would be to go for the uh, the Easy Diag 2.0 plus. Uh, they are available from Diagnostic World www.diagnostic-world.com, or you can click the link directly below this video. Thanks for watching.